Countless champions have been crowned throughout the history of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! But what about the underdogs, the dark horses, the decks that upon first glance make you question everything you thought you knew about the game? In this series, both MBT and myself will be showcasing some of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s wackiest unsung heroes. Each episode will feature new decks, new strategies, and the results will be unpredictable. You've seen the history of Yu-Gi-Oh!, but this is the history of Jank. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. I want to give a quick shout out at the beginning of this profile to E3 Yu-Gi-Oh! Because without them, I would not know this deck exists. Behold, a monstrosity. <laughs> This is Rescue Cat. There's just no other word for it than Rescue Cat. It aims to make use of Rescue Cat's weird synergies in Edison formats with X-Saber Air Bellum, which of course is a tuner, Archfiend Marmot of Nefariousness, and three-star normal beast-type monsters. Now, what the hell am I talking about? By using Rescue Cat to tag into a copy of Air Bellum and Archfiend Marmot of Nefariousness with a Summoner Monk on field, you can synchro the Summoner Monk and the X-Saber Air Bellum into a copy of Power Tool Dragon. With the Power Tool, you can reveal, depending on what you have and what normal monsters are in rotation, three copies of Symbols of Duty to tag out the normal monster you summoned for a Rescue Cat, three copies of Falling down a snatch deal provided you control an archfiend of which this card inexplicably is or three copies of different dimension reincarnation to special summon from your banished zone a card that you have banished with a gold sarcophagus or more likely a rescue cat you have banished to summon gigantes through this mechanism, you can trigger the effect of Rescue Cat two or three times a turn, looping Power Tool Dragons and ending on very powerful six, seven, and eight star synchros. It's an impressively powerful combo deck that is outrageously funny. I'll just be honest with you. If you showed me this card and told me it was part of a combo deck in 2010, I would beat down your door to get the list. So let's go through the individual cards. We've got Blackwing Gale, the Whirlwind, very good in this format in general. One Dark Arm Dragon, you are playing Dark, so occasionally it comes up. Triple Gigantes, being able to banish the Rescue Cat in order to summon it back with a DDR is unmatched. And this four-star monster lines up perfectly for follow-up Rescue Cats that summon Air Bellums. One Gores, one Gravekeeper's Descendant, and two Spy. You do have to get defensive sometimes. One Neospatian Dark Panther, a legal target for Rescue Cat. I was shocked too. Sangan, Summoner Monk, the heart and soul of the deck. Three, X-Saber Air Bellum, which does rip cards from your opponent's hand because Rescue Cat did not negate the effects of the monster when this deck was being played. Double Archfiend Marmot of Nefariousness and one, I'm not joking, Silver Fang. Unfortunately, we're not playing the Regeki to combo along with it. We've got a Brain Control, a Cold Wave, Triple DDR, Triple Falling Down, one Giant Trunade, Double Gold Sarcophagus, one Heavy Storm, a Mind Con, a Body as a Shield, three Pot of Avarice, Triple Symbols of Duty, and a Tretch. In the side, we've got Double Sidra, Double Raiko, one Chimera Tech, Double Vortex, Double Crossout, Double Crush Card, Double Gozen, and Double Decree. In the extra, we've got a bunch of Synchros, just a ridiculous amount of Synchros. Most important, however, are Power Tool Dragon and Arcanite Magician, both monsters you can make off of a Summoner Monk plus an Air bellum and usually that's the way you're going to make it work so i hope that we're able to do it god this one is stupid you know we've played some janky decks in the history of jank but i got to admit this one probably takes the cake so you all may be familiar with cards like Lava Golem, like Grinder Golem, Volcanic Queen. All of these cards are known for going to your opponent's side of the field by tributing off their monsters. A lot of people may remember Lava Golem as, you know, one of the first kaijus, and people may think of Grinder Golem as this combo piece that probably should have never been printed. But I don't think anyone until this point in time thought, what if we actually took the monsters back to our side of the field to beat in our opponent's face? Because their stat lines are pretty massive, right? Grinder Golem's 3k, Lava Golem's 3k, Queen is 25, right? So how bad could that idea be? And here you go, the abomination before you is Owner Seal Remove Brainwashing Dot Deck. I honestly have no idea what to call this. In all fairness, 
fairness, I think there is some validity to this, but God, does this deck look terrible. So let's do the card by card, I guess. So what we're ideally trying to do is give our opponent a ton of these monsters and also Nightmare Archfiends as well as a trap version of one of these effects. And then using either Owner's Seal or Remove Brainwashing, we're able to then take all of these monsters back and then we're able to just deal a huge amount of damage to our opponent's face. So three Cyber Valley, this is here to block attacks because obviously if we don't have a way to get the thing back, we're just going to be taking 3k to the face every time. And so this is good for that. We can also draw some cards to find our combo pieces. So this card fits a very unique role. Dandelion is sort of similar where it buys us time, but also gives us ways to like do something with the tokens. So that's fine. We have three grinder golem. This gives us two tokens and our opponent, the grinder golem, and uh, we can just take it back with one of our cards. Lava golem requires the opponent to have two monsters on the field, but this is actually good because if they have stuff that's just big, we can just sack both things off to be able to sub in this. And that's like pretty common. Like Lava Golem sees modern Yu-Gi-Oh play. This card's actually pretty decent. And Volcanic Queen does the same thing, except just for one monster. So not as good as Lava Golem, but also better in some ways because your opponent, once they catch wind of what you're doing, is going to try to not summon monsters unless they can probably kill you. Then we have the spells. Uh, stuff like True Nade is in here just so that way we can just win the game in one fell swoop. Gold Sark gets us to our combo piece like Owner Seal or Remove Brainwashing because we have a million things that summon monsters to our opponent's side of the field, but only a finite number of ways to get them back. Heavy Storm, double magic planter. I guess this is in here to when you have fiendish chains on your opponent's monsters to prevent you from dying to like Lava Golem, you can magic planter it off, draw a couple cards. Hopefully you get to owner seal or remove brainwashing. Uh, MST, the three owner seal, three upstart goblin to find our combo piece. And then the trap, triple fiendish chain, a mirror force, double nightmare arch fiends. This summons three nightmare arch fiend tokens, which are fiend dark level six, 2000 attack and defense tokens to our opponent's field. So if we get those back, that's 6,000 damage. This plus like a Lava Golem or a Grinder Golem is game. And if we can pull that off, that would be spectacular. Three remove brainwashing, just the crap counterpart of uh, Owner Seal. Two Scrap Iron Scarecrow. This is kind of funny. If we like Lava Golem something and then Scrap Iron, like unless they have another monster to hit us with, this is just enough to pre basically protect us. And then Lava Golem will just come in and finish them because they have only so many life points and it'll just burn them every single turn. So that's fun. And then Solemn Judgment and Starlight Road rounding out the 40. The side deck, we sort of go into to like this skill drain sort of just better deck, I guess, like if you want to call it that. So three Barbaros, this is a 1900 normal, but under skill drain goes up to 3k. Double breaker for back row, double Sidra. You can go like Sidra and then some of the big guys and then take them all back. So like that seems pretty good. Grand Mole's in here for some reason, like it's a good card, I guess that's probably why. The Gone Knave is very funny because if they attack with something like the Lava Goal and we can get it back to our hand. Uh, Dust Tornado is again, more back removal. Mind Crush, double skill drain and a trap Dust Shoot. The extra deck just has some Chimera Text and some Stardust because we're playing Starlight Road and Sidra. So I don't know how this one's going to go. This one's going to be a disaster because this, this deck's an abomination. But if we can pull out the win, Joseph is never going to live it down. This is jank at its finest. So ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Buddy, I'm just looking to play spaceships again, and I'm playing this garbage this week. How did we even come to this decision? Uh, I, I guess thanks Keegan at E3 Yu-Gi-Oh for providing us some of like the worst possible Edison list to be playing because whatever hole of hell these got dug up out of, I have no idea. I'll tell you this, it can't possibly be worse than the Herald Mirror. So I'm I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> You're just saying that because you lost. Buddy. Yes, of course. <laughs> if I'd won, that would have been a pure test of skill. Absolutely. Nothing but but all right let's out the patron it's play red eyes fdk on jank or i will have permission to call it a good deck thank you for the support mm, yeah give us until like 2016 then we'll uh we'll consider it maybe all right buddy got the hand up uh no now i do i don't even know what to call i'm gonna go odd it was odd i <laughs> Woo! uh the number of rescue cats available at this time Excellent. I actually just like rolled a die right before we did this. And I'm like, all right, it's odd. I'm going with that. Cause I had no idea what to pick for this deck. Usually I have some idea, but all right, buddy. Uh, good luck. Oh, nice 15 card extra deck loser. I don't even know if this deck wants to go first. Like looking at this. All right, uh, let's see what we can do. I'm going to set one and then I'm going to set one, two, three and throw it to you. Wow. That's like literally the worst draw in my deck. All right. We, we still might be able to do this. Uh, let's go. Yeah. I think this is fine. Sure. All right. Let's see what happens. All right. Uh, I'm going to normal summon summoner monk. I'll activate the effect to switch to defense. All right. I'm fucked. Yep. 
All right, I'll go Summoner Monk. I'm going to pitch DDR. All right, we're going to summon Rescue Cat. And All this right. is where the game ends. Uh, I don't think that's true. Um, we still have to do some work. You know, this isn't the way that it used to work. Let's go Rescue Cat to the grave. Uh, I'm going to grab... Oh, uh, the Archfiend Marmot of Nefariousness here is, like, super funny. This is the way you play Falling Down, because it's an Archfiend. But Falling Down Archfiend, yeah. cannot equip to set monsters, so probably not the play. So we'll go Airbellum. Big surprise. Oh, yeah, a surprise. And I'm going to get... I'm not... I'm not joking... Silver Fang. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I, I promise it's good. It's good. All right, we're going to send You're making Yugi Moto proud. Exactly. Uh, I'm going to go get Power Tool Dragon. Sure. I'm going to resolve the effect here. We're going to reveal Symbols of Duty, Symbols of Duty, and Symbols of Duty. Oh, excellent. Yeah, this uh, is jank, all right. Oh, it's jank, but it's also not terrible. We'll go I don't Symbols. Think so. I'm going to send sure. this uh, Silver Fang to the grave and summon out this Rescue Cat. And you get to do it again. <laughs> it's it's kind of crazy. Uh, let's go for... Well, now I actually have to think. Uh, we're going to get Airbellum for sure. Man, I kind of just want to like dome your entire hand. I would prefer you don't do that. Uh, see, that's the problem because I would prefer that I do. It's so bad. It's terrible. But it's also very funny. I and it's get... jank. That's what we're all about in this series. I could get an arch fiend marmot of nefariousness and then symbols of duty again there's oh no my God. It, i mean it'd just be so stupid but also it, it would be very funny uh, i'm gonna get another air bellum I, I know i know uh we're gonna banish rescue cat for gigantes uh we're gonna sink a gigantes and an air bellum for a second for another power, power tool. tool oh my god it uh, doesn't end we'll trigger power tool we'll get we're looking for the ddr here so we'll go symbols DDR, DDR. Unfortunately, we drew one of them. Please miss. Fuck! No! Oh, wait, no, it just revealed it. Okay. <laughs> oh, penis! Yeah, yeah, it's symbols. All right, well, whatever. 33%, baby! Always hit. All right, let's just go to combat here. All right, it is dandelion. Oh, that's like the worst possible thing it could have been. All right, let's just eat the dandies. Fine. Uh, we'll go to main phase two here. Uh... <sighs> I don't think there's anything I can do here. We'll just go to the end phase and uh, the air bellum goes. Uh, we'll go ahead and draw here. That's kind of neat. Doesn't really do much for me. Okay, uh, I'm gonna sack your power tools for Lava Golem. Awesome. Then I'm gonna set three cards and I can't normal the turn I do this, which is terrible, but that's fine. Go ahead, take your thousand. I will uh, stand by main. In eight turns, buddy, you're fucked. Let's try it, I guess. I have Scrap Iron Scarecrow. <laughs> I really am fucked in eight turns. I'll set one back to you. What kind of lunatic came up with this deck? Uh, made one. I'll set one. <laughs> go ahead, buddy. I'll take a thousand. All right. Six more turns. Let's go. <laughs> All right. I'll flip Gravekeeper's Spy here. Oh, shit. Yeah, sure. That's fine. We'll grab Descendant. Um... Uh, oh, shit. That's a card. Is that okay? That is sadly fine. All right, we are going to... Are you really going to Descendant Scrap Iron Scarecrow? <laughs> In fact, I am. In fact, I That's am. That's fine. That's fine. I'll normal spy here. Sure. We'll try for this one. This is really bad. I don't think I can let this one resolve at this point. Yeah, uh, you got it. It's Nightmare Archfi. <laughs> the fuck is dog? All right, we'll go to combat. I know that's something stupid. We'll hit it with it's the It's another boy. dandelion. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll eat a token at least. Uh, sure. Second main, I'll set one back to you. Actually has a back row. Lame. All right, I'll draw. Uh, here, I'll help you out, buddy. I'll give you an extra thousand Thank life. Thank you so much. I re that's another turn I get to live. Okay, I'm going to normal summon Cyber Valley. I will set a card and I will throw it to you. I'll take my thousand. Heavy. <sighs> Starlight Road. Chainlink three. Tretch. I'll target these two. Aww. Lame. Uh, yeah, not much I can do about that. Okay, so these die. Uh, road resolves. Negates heavy. I uh, get a Stardust, but in the face of a Lava Golem, I don't know what good that does me. I'm going to normal Blackwing Gale the Whirlwind. I'll decrease your guy, and I will try it now. So this is going to be a lot. Uh, 12, it takes 17.50 from this. Sure. Uh, and then we'll go 15.13. I'll take the 28. All right, back to you. We're trying. Uh, Gold Sark? Yeah, sure. I don't think there's a single card in my deck that triggers off of this card, so I will give it to you, buddy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> 
Yeah, we were never winning this one. Uh, the card in hand was Volcanic Queen, so I considered hitting over my own Lava Golem that in the weird circumstance you heavied me and then I had Stardust Dragon that you wouldn't be able to hit over it, but then you had Gale, so it didn't matter anyway. But still very funny. Uh, fairness, that's atrocious, but, yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, the things you do for Yu-Gi-Oh, right? <laughs> All right, uh, good luck, buddy. Let's see if uh, we can do a little bit better this time around. And... Looking at this hand. <laughs> I, I think it's going to be a little different for you. Uh, I will draw for turn. Oh, excellent. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Uh, similar to last time, I'm just going to set a pair and throw it to you. Stand by main. Yep. Gold Sark. Sure. So I have a two turn clock this time. Uh, we're going to get the Summoner Monk here. I just pass here. I mean, you can't tribute over my monsters if I never summon a monster. That's true. That is true. Ah, uh, fuck it. If there was a way to kill you, that would be so funny. But unfortunately, I don't think that exists right now. All right, main one. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, I guess we get in. Yeah, like you said, fuck it. Normal Barbaros. Yeah, that's the guy. I'll flip Dandy. Yep. Three. Uh, sure. Nothing 19. here. Yep, I'll take it. That, <laughs> that's it. Go ahead. Right, let's see what we got. Uh, that's one on Smunk. Uh, I'm going to set one and back to you. Are you actually scared of death, Joseph? <laughs> a, a little. I'm a little frightened. <laughs> All right, I'll draw. Uh, main one that doesn't really change anything, sadly. Uh, you're going to get the stupid fucking monk next turn. Battle. Yes. Barbaros in. It is Gravekeeper's Descendant. Do I want to hit you for 300? Oh, if I had a Gores right now, it'd be so funny. Oh, it'd be hilarious. It would, it would be quite funny. The first time in history, uh, 300 attack token. Maybe not the first time. Gores has probably been played quite a bit. Good luck, buddy. All right, I'm going to add the Smunk to hand. Sure. All right, main one. Let's uh, yep. true nade. Nothing I can do. All right, normal Smunk uh, effect to defense. I'll try for it. I'm going to pitch Avarice here. Uh, let's grab Rescue Cat. Let's uh, cat, Airbellum, and Silverfang. I, pro it's Good old I Silver promise Fang. it's real. I promise it's real. You're making Yugi Moto proud, buddy. All right. Uh, down comes power tool number one. Yep. Okay. We'll go for the effect. I'm going to reveal falling down and then two copies of symbols of duty. Sure. Guess you have the third one in hand. I could. I could. You don't know. Uh, I do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go grab rescue cat here. And we will trigger him again. Let's get Nefarious and Airbellum. Uh, and then this is a very strange hand. I'll falling down your Barbaros. Yep, we get to see this card. It's uh, Snatch Steel. It's literally just Snatch Steel. Let's falling down your Dandelion. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Uh, how much damage is this? 19, 3, 16, 4, 23, 43, 50, Not even close. 52, 55. Uh, it actually isn't even remotely close to lethal. <laughs> no! Ah, but I get to eat a card out of your hand. I feel like that's too good to pass up. Let me think if there's any funny way I can assemble lethal. I can go air bellum and the dandelion into power tool again, but my quality of add gets really bad after this. You um, cannot do that anyway, because they are they don't make seven stars. Oh, it's six. Shoot. Yeah, you're right. I could go Beast King Barbaros and air bellum to make a 45 star. Uh, I can go- You can make Star Eater. I could go um, air bellum and Archfiend Marmot of Nefariousness and Dandelion for Mistworm, but you get the tokens at a point where I can't bounce them. And then I lose the Barbaros anyway. Let's just go to combat here. Okay. Uh, we'll go four. Sure. Uh, we'll go 16. And you get to rip a card out here. How about this one? Uh, it's True Nate. Oh, that doesn't really do anything against me. Uh, 19, sure. 3, 23. Sure. So unfortunately, if I don't control an Archfiend card, you get your monsters back, which is a bit of a, an issue. Uh, I think giving you the Dandelion back isn't bad, but I am concerned about the other one. Archfiend, Marmot of Nefariousness, Airbellum, and Dandy to the Grave. And I think we'll just make Stardust. Let me decide if there's something maybe a little bit better I can do, but that seems fine. The thing I'm scared of is if you have a Lava Golem in your hand. I don't know why you'd be afraid about that. Oh, one. don't you? I think you might actually know why I'm scared of it. All right, let's just go for, uh, for a Stardust. And then, okay. these and then die, I get this Barbaros back. Yeah, you get your guy back. You also get a couple of tokens Thanks. if you want. I do. Um, yeah, I... Yes, I'll take him. Sure. All right, back to you. All right, uh, we'll draw, and <laughs> that's funny. I mean, I have to go for it. I will give you the lava golem I ripped off the top. <laughs> e epic, dude. Excellent. I will activate Don't owner's seal Son and take my lava golem back. <laughs> 
Yeah. Uh, sadly, though, this isn't lethal. I am 600 shy here. This is 49, and I can't... Find me a I blocker. I cannot the normal summon. Battle. Yeah, I'll take 3,000 and 1,900. Yeah. I wish there was a way for me to get lethal here, but sadly, there is not. Uh, and if there is, I don't see it. So, uh, second main, I will set two cards. And I think that's going to do it for me, buddy. Go ahead. Come on. <sighs> that is an interesting draw. Oh, God. Come on, buddy. Let's go to a game three. You know you want to. That's a really interesting draw. I'm going to banish Rescue Cat. I'll summon Gigantes. The Barbaros is 19. If one of those sets is skill drain, I'm just going to get owned. <laughs> I'm just going to get so absolutely owned if one of the sets is skill drain. <laughs> play skill drain in this deck you're playing you barbaros <laughs> all right okay okay okay. i'll try to crash with barbaros oh uh, no okay the crashing is fine do you have any like damage step shenanigans no i wish that'd be crazy all right okay so they die gigantus triggers i'm pissed about this starlight road doesn't trigger in damage step. oh thank uh, god <laughs> so you hit that in another owner seal okay second main i will set one and back to you I will draw. That's hilarious. Stand by. I'll take a thousand. <laughs> yes, you will. Yes, you will. Okay. So the question is, can my Lava Golem hit here and win me the game? Or do I lose the game because I have Lava Golem? If you blank this hit, I'm basically dead because like, you just have to pass and I die. 3K. You got it. Oh! Game three. so mad i can't believe uh i off the top you had to tell me that it was off the top if it makes you feel better i had one in my hand but it was just funnier that i drew one as well <laughs> okay well that does make me feel a little better uh but gee i don't know i guess i want to go second uh here let me tell you how to beat this deck just don't play cards yeah i'm, I'm in i'll go first I think I even right. forgot to draw uh, going first last time, which means it didn't count. And actually, I'm the secret winner. No, oh. you haven't gotten first yet. This is your first time going first. Wait, is that true? Yes, I went first both games one and two. Oh, crazy. All right, I'm going to set one uh, and then... Still play a monster. You know it's not going to work. Yeah, I, I kind of feel like that's the play. We're, I'm going to Sark. Sure, that uh, makes sense. Let's yeah. grab Summoner Monk here. Okay. All right, see you in 15 turns. All right, anything standby? No, of course not. Okay. Barbaros. That's okay. Hit for 19. Uh, I'll take it. Uh, second main, I'm going to set... Yeah, I'll set four. I'm oh all in. Oh, my God. Go ahead, buddy. You're all out, baby. Royal Decree. <laughs> no! <laughs> Why would you do that? Fine, right, fine, fine. Uh, rescue Cat. Okay, now we're fucked. All right, what do we got here? Uh, let's go Airbellum and... Uh, I just need a guy. Any old guy will do. Uh, let's do Silverfang. Uh, let's go these two to the grave for power tool. That uh, is six stars, sir. Up! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it is. Oh my god, am, am I terrible? Is there a way to do this? Six stars. All right, okay. This will just have to do. Uh, we'll send these to the grave for Goyo. Goyo? Yeah, I figured that was the next option. Wow. Sure. Uh, this is gross because you get him at 3K. <laughs> I do. Uh, that's nasty. Yeah, so I'll take nine. Uh, I'm assuming you want this. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. In uh, he's in defense, yeah. sir. Yeah. Uh, second main, I will. I'll just I'll just pass back. Lava goal. Lava goal. Lava goal. Fuck. <laughs> go. All right, I'll grab my smunk here. Yeah, just just finish me off, buddy. Just I mean, this me is off. this is not really how I wanted to do it. Battle face. Is, sure. Is this lethal? No, it's not. So. <laughs> God, well then I have to do it differently. As much as I want to. I'm dead. Like, just do it the right way. Right. I'm dead. In that case, we're gonna start of main one cold wave. Oh, excellent! Just in case I uh, had <laughs> anything MST that could stop you here. We'll yeah, go sure. summoner monk to defense. Declare the effect. Lose the brain yeah, con. Yeah. Yeah. We'll grab a, sure. uh, I don't know, air bellum, and then we'll... I think this is lethal on board, right? Uh, yeah. Now it's lethal, yes. Wow. I will tell you right now, 
If you did not have this fucking decree, you were fuck. You were dead. <laughs> what, I you had have? nightmare archfiends remove oh. brainwashing. I oh. was going to just shaft you with Wait, this. Wait, this is 6,000 points of guys. 6,000 worth of guys. Yep. I had a tornado <laughs> for the royal decree, but it was one turn too late, sadly. And I had an owner seal if I had never moved brainwashing. And I had a second owner seal in case that one didn't work. Just didn't but. have a... a Lava go <laughs> No, I mean, yeah. So, I mean, 6,000 was going to be enough to at least just, like, do something. Oh, uh, man. This sucked. <laughs> These were awful. Wow. This was terrible. Yeah, uh, it was funny. It was very it was funny. funny. There's the dandy. I will but. say, um, I am really impressed by this stupid freaking rescue cat deck. This thing has been refined to hell and back by the Edison yep. community. Basically, just because it's so hilarious that Archfiend Marmot of Nefariousness counts for falling down. I think that's the yep. whole reason. I mean, it's comically smooth, the deck. In fact, it is just unbelievably consistent at getting the entire combo out. The only thing really keeping this from Edison playability is the fact that the combo sucks. <laughs> I mean, you, I got it off, what, two games in a row, and it was just like, yeah, you made two 2300 attack point monsters. Like, any trap card beats you. Yeah, and uh, conversely, my deck is the complete opposite of smooth because it's trying to high roll like all hell to get out a bunch of big dudes to your field so I can just take them back. I will say... It's funny uh, because this is like such a Yu-Gi-Oh deck, right? To have like this sort of mechanic at play here mm -hmm. between Nightmare Archfiends, Lava Golem, Grinder Golem, which you also didn't see. Yep. Uh, Volcanic Queen. Like this deck was deep on the amount of cards that it could just give you for me to take back. <laughs> and uh, playing stuff like Scrap Iron Scarecrow is hilarious because like with a Lava Golem, if they have like no way to deal with it and they're on like low resources, then like that interaction could just win you the game in a simplified game state later on in the game. Uh, and aside from that, you're just playing a bunch of random garbage that supports it. Uh, I think the pre-side deck version of this was playing like magic planters with like fiendish chains and stuff. So that way you can like draw deeper. Uh, it was playing cyber valleys. So you can like draw deeper into your deck, but also stall simultaneously from getting hit by the big things like lava golem. It's playing dandelion for similar reasons to like not die, but also provide you like tribute fodder. And then it's side decks into like this skill drain Barbaros package, which is cute because skill draining also the big dudes is nice, especially when you remove brainwash them. Uh, just because Barbaros goes to three K and Lava Golem is, you know, just another guy, right? He's just a dude. It's really strange. I personally have fond memories of Remove Brainwashing uh, just because I remember it being super expensive when the Kaijus were first revealed. Before people conceived of the deck as just like a whole bunch of sick removal spells, they were like, no, it's just, it's a legitimate strategy. You just have to draw Owner's Seal or Remove Brainwashing and you get your Doggeran back. That sucked. And uh, it looks like the version that plays uh, Lava Golem sucks as well. That's yeah. is unfortunate. The funny part about Lava Golem is that people don't remember it as a big guy. They remember it as an unfortunate thing you saddle your opponents with in order to burn them out of the game or like cheese a win or out two big dinguses. Um, it's funny that you would go through any kind of steps to get a monster that bad back on your side to, of the field. Yep. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Because traditionally, you're going to play, like, lockdown stall decks that play, like, Gravity Bind, L-Lab, you know, these cards that make it so that when you give them the Lava Golem, it can't attack you back, so the 3k uh, massive body that it has is completely mitigated. But someone came up with the brilliant idea of... What if we use that to our advantage and actually try to kill the opponent? And with cards coming out later on, like Nightmare Archfiends and, you know, Owner Seal, Remove Brainwashing, sort of facilitating this sort of deck to work. It's funny seeing the evolution of these types of cards that you give to your opponent throughout Yu-Gi-Oh, right? And how Kaijus now, by modern standards, are uh, sometimes parts of modern formats, whether it's in the main deck or the side deck, depending on the way things shape up. Mm -hmm. And Lava Golem was like the first card to really do this. And so obviously it was far and away worse than like Kaijus ever were. But even Lava Golem still sees play to this day for very specific reasons, because it's a card that your opponent can't negate. And if your opponent just has you locked down with multiple Omni negate cards, you can just give them a Lava Golem. And then if you're playing like Eldritch, you can set five and pass and not even care. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another episode. I hope you enjoyed. As always, let's shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout to shout 1317, Moto Cameron Smith, Tim Zuzer, X3, SJ Winchester, K 
Chaotic Meeple, MBT Play Medolce, Part 2, Pony Stark, Dan the Man Hoban, Synchro Guy, Ole, Yusuf Asano 5, I Ship MBT and Simo, Draconic Rockslide, Jordan Coons, Iron Blazem, Jesse Wood, Chris Hood, David Liu, Skyrose, Dylan Hunter, Cody Bretch, John Tubase, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Day Sir, Carlos CT, Flannel Daddy, Phoenix the Immortal, Einstein's Theory of MBT's Relative Toes, Hornet, Give Me Speedroid or Give Me Death, Jonah Messenger, TC Gaming, Thanks for the Sleeves, Dad, Matthew Brady, Max, MBT's Ghost Trick BMW, Tom Russell, Why Read Cards When You Can Just Click Buttons, Helios 515, Black Acre, Thank You, Simo, MBT, Gage, the RJB0, and Ruxin34, The Entire State of Indiana, Valen Jackson, Justice for Queen, Tira Masu, Imagine Committing a Crime and Finding Out Your Lawyer is a Yugi Tubing Rothschild, MBT fans scare me more than COVID, Simping for Simo, Tyler H, Nicholas Carpenter, Simo's Harem of Sexy Yugi Tubers, Nim Noodle, Malapranch of the Burning Tunnels, MBT canceled by all communities soon, Mike Ty, Stella, and Zoe Vermillion, Wonder Waffle, Skull Servant, and the Wandering Doomed are boyfriends, just an awesome name, not reading cards makes the game interesting and you know it and the undertaker versus simo and mbt thank you guys so much for watching the video and we will see you next time